deep breath. Welcome to the Whiskey Vault. I'm Daniel. Rex. At least it's glass. Yeah, oh. This is from Graham Horner. You know, we, look, man, we don't, there's not a lot of pre-planning in between shoots. We just kind of like plunk a bottle and go. Yeah. We'll, we'll give you a little trade secret. Mm. You don't have to stack these one after another. We can <laughs> we can spread them out. You do, because I want to get it over with. I'm, I'm the eat your vegetables on your plate first guy. Because there's some cool stuff coming up soon. Right. I want to get to it. But what? And we've been putting off Graham stuff for a while. I've been putting off Graham stuff for a while. Graham Horner, you magnificently cheap bastard. I, I say that when you send that many bottles, it's not cheap. Yeah, plus to me, it's like, uh, we are actually are reviewing a whole bunch of stuff a lot of people can go try if they wanted to. Okay, I don't, I don't recall ever seeing these, but then again, I don't go buy a lot of whiskey. Right. Yeah. Well, T.W. Samuels is an original namesake from like the 1800s, Jeez. right? It's now being revived by Heaven Hill. Okay. So I think this is probably Heaven Hill. But this is a blended whiskey, which means... We don't entirely know what's in it. It's not even a blended bourbon. Right. It's a blended whiskey, which makes it closer to probably a vodka straight bourbon combo. So, put your nose in there. Very yeah. light. Very light. Yeah, this is closer to that metallic vanilla. Yep. Yeah, this is, we're back to the Bellows blended whiskey. Back to the Bellows private cellar on the nose. Is it 40%? Yeah. Don't you think we're out there? Bring me back in. Yeah, it is. It's that metallic vanilla frosting. Yeah, yeah. It's just gotta... relentless. It vodka just it takes everything over. Every drop contains Kentucky whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you? Wait, wait. Well, hold on. Hold on, though. Due to it's not is Kentucky whiskey. Due to the way <laughs> it contains. <laughs> due to the way liquids interact with each other. Yeah. <laughs> this is the marketing department. It's like, well, you know, like molecules, <laughs> molecules from the actual whiskey is going to just permeate all yeah, of this yeah. vodka. Yeah. So you're going to get a bit of that Kentucky bourbon just going through all the vodka. So every drop. I mean, look, they contains... say in the Old Testament, they're like one, you know, a bit of un of leaven. Yeah. Uh, ruins the unleavened bread. That's biblical. Right, right, right. That's biblical. Shit. So one molecule of actual bourbon. Livens up this bottle of vodka. <laughs> is this Kentucky whiskey? No, but it contains Kentucky whiskey. Every drop does. This is like technically, <laughs> this is like technically bourbon. You gotta appreciate that, well, right? I don't know. I'm not sure how tongue in cheek. <laughs> no, no, I don't think it's tongue in cheek. I think they're trying to make it sound better. Right. But if it was done tongue in cheek, right. I would have more respect for the it. The bald because of funny, people. yeah, yeah. A distinctive blend, and then they put like a, a crest. family crest on the back, yeah. It possesses the character and taste a connoisseur desires and expects from good whiskey. It is 80% vodka, 20% Kentucky straight so whiskey. You, you, exactly like Bellows. So you make the font choice, that ornate cursive. Oh, yeah, yeah. Feels fancy. Yeah, fancy as shit. Fancy. Fancy. We're still just on the nose. Oh, yeah. Just, I, have, I mean, I can't. Okay, We're just fine. goofing on the label. <laughs> yep. Oh, oh, orange. Did you get like a, like a bitter orange note? Like a, not natural orange. No, no, like orange Tic Tacs. Oh, <laughs> that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, metallic sugar orange tea. Yeah, like a watered down. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. That's closer to orange Tic Tac than, like <laughs> bourbon. than the bourbon. Whoa. Well, it's a, uh, I don't even, look, I don't even think that, I, I wouldn't not feel comfortable putting that in a cocktail. I'm not even mad. A, co <laughs> a cocktail. I'm just disappointed. A cocktail that, you know, usually is going to bury a lot of the flavors that you're going to be getting out of that whiskey if it was a neat pour. I still think I would find such a lack of bourbonness yeah. that the cocktail yeah. would fall short of expectations. You know what this reminds me of? Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, Westland Peated. And there's like, now you get almost like this... Uh, no, it's it's not recognizable as bourbon anymore. That first sip, any wisps of bourbonness are gone. Are long gone, and now it's just kind of like this, a little bit of an 
off alcohol note. What'd you pour? Oh, uh, this reminds me of this Westland Peated. I just want to compare and see oh, if yeah. I remember correctly. <laughs> right. Just the AB? Yeah. Because AB is one of the most helpful things you can do for yourself. Oh, so that's a science. To yeah. see what notes am I finding here yeah. versus the notes that I'm finding here. What's right. missing here right. versus what's missing here. Yeah. So. Oh, no, I was totally off. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, they're not even close. Well, maybe on the taste. No. Mm. Here, oh, no. I got all the nuttiness. And the, the nutty, nuttiness. the Westland nuttiness. Oh. oh, it's so good. It's those darker malts, I yeah. think. And the peated so, from the... So in my mm. AB, mm -hmm. um, what I'm finding in the Westland peated mm -hmm. uh, is flavor. <laughs> what I'm not right. finding in every drop contains <laughs> bourbon is flavor. Flavor, yeah. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, it, it was good to check. Yeah, you got to self-check sometimes. You know, trust but verify. Trust but verify. And we verified that yeah. this Hold has it. flavor. Yeah. <laughs> we're, yes, we're being <laughs> totally different categories. This is going to be dirt cheap. Yeah, yeah. But <laughs> even in like the dirt cheap spectrum, there's much like, better things to spend dirt cheap money on. If it this. makes you understand I'm missing bellows right now. <laughs> like I'm, I'm longing. Yeah. For the good old days yeah, yeah, yeah. when we were able to drink Bellows. That's, uh, yeah. That's, yeah. Oliver St. Amand. Uh, are there any or many bourbons entirely made from pot stills? No yep. column stills at all. Yeah, so I like those generally. All the pot still, m m all. Most of the pot still bourbons in America are going to be craft or smaller distilleries. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering, because most big guys either use column followed by a doubler, which is a column followed by effectively a pot still, yeah. um, or some version of that pot column, co pot, column pot. But um, a lot of guys like Balconis, yeah. who have pot stills, are making pot still Texas bourbon, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. So in Texas, you could get pot still bourbon Balconis. Uh, the Iron Boys are doing what would be bourbon yeah, we'll, in pot stills. We're going to be doing pot stills. Yeah, uh, but they yeah, have a column too. But um, well, uh, we're doing pot still. We're doing pot still single malt. Yeah, and then when we get into bourbon, we could do pot still and column. We could do both and right. AB compare. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, ours would be like effectively doing a stripping run on the pot still, and then running it through the plates right. and having a finished product in one run. You know what's going to be very heartbreaking about that. Pot still versus column, column still. Yeah. The extra amount of yield and profitability we would get from a column still. No, it's less actually. From a column? Yeah. So why would you do column ever if you get more flavor from the pot? Well, 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 it's well, it's not less. So it's you can run it continuously. Okay. You can just keep feeding it and keep going. So over the same period of time, you can produce a shit ton more yeah. than like a fill. Empty, clean, fill, empty, saying. clean, fill, empty, clean. Yeah, yeah. But so we're, we're still going to be doing like one run at a time. The economics of a column versus the mm. economics of a pot. So yeah, like the, the scale of the long term thing. economics, yes. Right. But we're not doing a true just, column. Just have Emma work 24 7. 24 7. No, no fine no, with that. That's silly. 24 5. Okay, that's fair. Yeah, we should, everybody needs a weekend. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> Theodore Van Winkle. Uh, question for the editor. How do you decide when the website watermark appears? I feel like it appears at different times every video. Let us know, Dan. Yeah, Dan. I put that in there because I was curious. It's like, what the hell is the water? Is it like the little in the corner, logo? The oh, awesome, 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 awesome. okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm wondering if Dan has rhyme or reason to it. Yeah, just like, I oh, yeah, I got to put this somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> uh, love that Westland Peated. That's delicious. There's better options than that. Oh yeah. Then um, I need to remember what it is, now, so these, as not to not to buy it. TWC. Now, okay. On, in their in their defense, they are they are releasing. Um, oh, never mind. It. It's, there's no defense. <laughs> there's no defense. Just walk away. Uh, here's the fight. If you fight me, fight for a friend. Steal, may you steal your lips. And if you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us.